I'm going to start out making my section view drawing by clicking a new drawing. It's going to open the correct template for me and I'm going to click browse and in my folder I will find the actual assembly and hit open. If it asks you to hit rebuild, go ahead and click rebuild and go ahead and set one copy of your mug down. Okay, just one copy. What we're going to do now is we're going to create under view layout what's called a section view. As in, I will draw a line through the front view of my assembly, and it will be as though I took a saw and cut my travel bug down that line. The view that pops out should give me a still true to size view, so we'll mess with the scale here in a few minutes, of what it would look like looking at the left leftover part. I'm going to click section view. It's asking for a cutting line. Okay. So I am going to go, it automatically knows which, or it's looking at what view we have. So it's trying to put me right in the center of this view, which is correct. And I'm going to click the line. Okay. And it's going to give me now this view. Now, what we just did is you can see it cut from points A to A, and I have this section of A to A. Um, I can enlarge both of these by doing a custom scale and making it larger, okay? Which I want to do, because these are the only two drawings that are showing, okay? It does show the center line. And it shows that I'm looking in the direction of the arrows. Okay. So in looking at that section, here's what I see. I can see as I zoom in that there is a gap between my lid and the edge of the mug all the way up until the point where it comes down and rests on this ledge. If you were going to have it make contact here, it's okay that you might have that those two points making contact with no ledge down here. Kind of depends on how you designed your mug. You'll also notice I have this. Anything where you see that diagonal line is a cut edge. Okay. Well, like for example, what I see right here is the vent hole in my sliding part of my lid. Um, the fact that I see this slid down a little bit, you can see that it's actually making contact. So I can go back and position this if I need to, to make sure everything's good to go. Now I'm not going to do this for no reason. I'm going to, I still am going to use my smart dimensions and some of these places I'm going to want to show like, what is the thickness from there to there? I might want to show some other thickness measurements of various parts of my mug. For example, the thickness of the neck right there. I'm not going to try to show the distance between them because those are just flat out too small. Now, the nice part about this section view is this works with your three view drawing. So the stuff you dimensioned here, you do not dimension on your three view drawing. And the stuff that you dimension on your three view drawing, you do not dimension here. They work together. This should actually be in your packet, the page after the parts views. So again, it's there to provide the information that the other drawings don't provide.